Welcome back to another episode and we are looking at the G75 VW. It is running an i7-3610QM, a NVIDIA GTX 670M, a Thunderbolt port and a 17.3 inch 1920x1080 full high resolution screen. Looks beautiful. It is of course the latest laptop to be given the Republic of Gamers insignia and uh, it is very worthy of it. On the right side of the laptop we've got two USB 3.0 ports. One of them is a supercharging port so you can charge your phone really really fast. You've got a Thunderbolt port, a HDMI port, an Ethernet cable port and a VGA port and a power input port. You've got a headphone in, a microphone in as well. You've got an SD card, a Blu-ray, read write, DVD read write combo and a USB 3.0 port. These are the back vents of your laptop and it looks just amazing and uh, keeps the entire laptop fairly, fairly cool. We'll do an overview so you can see that the design has been de-ruggedized in some ways and it's got a nice rubber film over the entire surface as well, which makes it very easy to handle. As we open up the laptop as well, you'll see that it is very nice and clean. The workspace that you have is just really really nice nice rubber palm rests uh, big trackpad you've got very very nice rubber keys as well and that just beautiful gunmetal sort of brushed finish which is just amazing as you can see there and uh, it also features a full number pad which you'd expect from a 17.3 inch laptop this here that you can see is the ROG theme that you can download in the link's description below. Uh, and this is a comparison between the old G74 and the G75. As you can see, G75 is not only more powerful, but it is smaller and lighter as well, which is a vast improvement over the previous generation. All right, so we played Battlefield 3, the latest version, the close quarters battle and on high settings, it was very acceptable. We were pulling, I think we averaged around 47 frames per second. And um, on medium, we were averaging sort of above 50 frames per second. So the game scales pretty well. I didn't really notice any visual differences between medium and high, but ultra sort of went between 24 frames per second and 30 frames per second, which uh, depending on how how smooth you like your gameplay may or may not be acceptable for you. If you are planning to play Battlefield 3 on a laptop like this, I would keep it between medium and high, depending on what map you're playing on. So, did have a lot of fun with it though. It is very, very capable in the gaming department being a gaming laptop, and it certainly has the hardware to back it up in this regard as well. So I was very excited to test it out on the latest Battlefield 3 map and uh, show you some multiplayer gameplay as well, which was a lot of fun. All right, so out of the box, it has a 256 gigabyte Lighton SSD. That is the non 3D version. And uh, it pulls 490.8 megabytes per second with read and 283.6 per second in the write department. Very, very fast scores. Very nice 4K random score as well, 29.98. The lowest sub score for Windows was 7.4 with the graphics. Everything else scored much, much higher, which was nice to see. And we were pulling P3053 3D marks. Uh, we were previously doing around P3033 and upwards, uh, but we had to change to the latest drivers, which uh, have consequently given us a worse score, but these are the official driver scores, so P3053. Alright, so we're doing 3D Mark 11 at the moment, probably about halfway through, and uh, this is the fan noise coming from the back. So it is pretty quiet, and it does so because ventilation in this laptop is just ingenious. Alright, so this is the Heaven Benchmark and it pulled a score of 878 with uh, an average of 34.9 frames per second. And now that we've got everything out of the way, the benchmarks and everything out of the way, I'm going to show you how to uh, take out a drive because that's probably what the majority of you guys will probably do is uh, install your own drives. May, may they be solid state drives or high capacity drives, it's up to you. 
and you can see the heat sink, the fan filters that come off as well. And um, yeah, it's a very, very clean sort of setup and it's all secured by one screw and, and very easy to sort of get to. And you just remove these two screws at the side of uh, the drive and put them aside and just slide it out. And then you've got four screws here. And once you remove those, you can actually replace the drive completely. And that's the solid state drive that it's come with. My other bay has a SanDisk 240. So I've got two solid state drives in this laptop and it runs really, really well. So as you can see, very, very quick to install and remove hardware. And uh, if you're familiar, you just snap down the edges uh, and just replace that one screw and you're ready to go again. This is your battery compartment, as you can see. Very easy to remove the battery if need be, and you've got the subwoofer down there as well. So that's that. Guys, I really enjoyed doing the voiceover. It's a different type of uh, way to film, and uh, it definitely allows me to explain things in more detail as I go about it. So really enjoyed doing the review, and the laptop is just fantastic. Uh, this is my workstation computer. I've been doing all the rendering of the videos on this computer and I uh, will continue to do that as well. So um, got the 256 light on drive in there which as you've already seen is just ridiculously fast. Um, the performance that you get out of the box with this thing is just incredible. And uh, there are two SKUs in Australia. There's the 3D version and there's the non-3D version. This was of course the non-3D version. The main difference in Australia that is, is that the non-3D version has the 670 um, which is a Fermi based chip instead of Kepler based and the 3D version has a 660 which is Kepler based and runs a lot cooler as well. So it's kind of a trade-off. The 660 uh, is about 10 to 15 percent um, less in the performance department uh, versus the 670 um, but the 670 is really good for gaming so if you are gaming I do suggest you get this SKU which is the non 3D version but if you did want to watch 3D movies um, then definitely get the 3D version of this laptop. Uh, realistically I don't think you'll be gaming in 3D with the G75 VW 3D version uh, because 120 frames per second does put a huge strain on the GPU but it's up to you guys to have a look at the different SKUs before you buy them uh, and there is a price difference there as well but this laptop on its own very nice it's good to see the improvements the whole rubberized features it's thinner than the last version it's not as wide as the last version as well and it's just everything about it they've really improved it and made it a whole lot faster as you see so it did really well in the synthetic benchmarks and uh, in real world use it's very very snappy so very happy to do this one and uh, you guys will see me next time